What's up, Reavers? Queen of Reef here, back again. And um, I got to talk to you about something pretty important. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. Everybody has been holding out. Everybody has been holding out about what they think about when they create, you know, visually appealing, you know, really, really hot aquascapes. It turns out there's a secret sauce. There's a, there's a secret sauce about how people make, you know, visually appealing, sexy aquascapes. And uh, you don't need an artistic eye or Takashi Amano talent. If you can glue rock A to rock B, you can create a sexy aquascape too, okay? You know why? The secret sauce is formulaic. I mean, really, it's actually a mathematical formula. So at the root of visually appealing is the basic rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a technique that makes art, photography, whatever have you, in this case, reef tanks, look way more interesting to the eye. What, okay, how does this apply to your scape? You just take your tank, take your tank and divide it up like a tic-tac-toe board of three by three of nine equal blocks. The goal here is to place the centerpiece of your rock structure on one of the four intersecting points. Not in the center, but offset on the side, either to the left or to the right. Don't center your main rock structure. Off-centering that main structure makes your tank look way more dynamic and more interesting to the eye. And I know what you're thinking right now. Hey, yo, Stephanie, this isn't the secret sauce to a sexy scape. We know the rule of thirds already. That's old news, you know, that's old news. But wait, I'm going to add another element to it, y'all. The secret sauce to a sexy scape is the Fibonacci sequence and the golden spiral of sexiness. You know, Leonardo da Vinci, yada yada, geometry for visual perfection, what have you. Okay, so basically, the Fibonacci sequence is found everywhere in nature and is all around us. It's a never-ending series of numbers where you just add the first two numbers to create a third number and then just keep adding the two before and so on and so forth until infinity. So it plays out to be like one, one, two, three, five, eight, and so on and so forth. Kind of like, you know, when you when you when you breed bougie designer clownfish. You know, you you have one clownfish, you have one bougie clownfish, and then you add, you know, a male bougie clownfish, and then they end up making another bougie clownfish, and then there ends up being five bougie clown. You know what? It's just, it's this weird number code that that translates to beauty. Okay, bear with me. Bear with me. So the Fibonacci sequence drawn out is the golden spiral sexiness that I keep telling you guys about. By drawing out the first numbers of the Fibonacci sequence, you know, one by one, one by one, two by two, three by three, five by five, and eight by eight, creating an arc from each corner of the square to the other. Acknowledge the spiral because this spiral, this spiral right here is exactly how you're going to make the dream aquascape. The goal here is to make your rockscape align roughly with the Fibonacci spiral, okay? You just have to make sure that the rock somewhat aligns with that curve for it to be really hot. We're not recreating Michelangelo sculptures here. You know, Michelangelo didn't even reap. So don't worry about making it perfect because it's not going to ruin its overall effect. The spiral can be flipped vertically. The spiral can be flipped horizontally. You could even, you know, add two spirals if you really want to get crazy with it. You know, don't go overboard, but if you want to add two, you can, you can add two. Pretty sure that you guys definitely get the point by now. So let's take a look at some real life examples, shall we?
guys, I wasn't making this stuff up. The Golden Spiral of Sexiness is a really good tool for when you're thinking about how to design your aquascape. It's a really great starting point for when you start to visualize how your scape is going to be structured and what kind of visual effect you want to give off. I want to note how the rock never exactly followed the sexy spiral perfectly. The sexy spiral is essentially just a guideline for the focal points of your tanks. So basically it never has to be perfect as long as when you first look at your aquascape your eyes are drawn to the sexy spiral or spirals as the main key features in your aquascape. Huge shout out to my favorite all-time saltwater aquascaper Waterlife for letting me use their pictures in this video to explain the sexy spiral. You guys should definitely check out their Instagram when you have the chance because this is just this is just raw aquascape talent right here. <laughs> You guys are so sweet. It makes me so happy to hear that you guys love my tank so much. Except Mario. Ouch. No, ain't that the truth. I don't think there's anything Cat loves more than a sexy acro shipment.